Right, as promised, we are going to look at dividing complex numbers now. So imagine you have this. We've got 1 plus 3i divided by 2 plus i. Now the method that you use is very similar to rationalising the denominator for thirds. Um, what we're going to do is multiply through by 2 minus i over 2 minus i, so the same as timesing by 1, but we're using the conjugate of the denominator. What this will achieve is to be able to um, make the denominator a real number. You'll see how this um, plays out. So multiply that out, and on the bottom, that's what we get. And on the top, looks like this. So then simplifying that, um, collecting up like terms, and changing our i squareds into minus 1, looks like this. And then finally like this, and since we're dividing everything through by 5, we can simplify that down to 1 plus i. Okay, next example. Find the real and imaginary parts of z equals 2 over 6 plus 5i. So we can't just straight off read off the real parts and the imaginary parts of that one. We need to um, turn this into the conventional format of x plus i, y for a complex number. So we're going to do 2 divided by 6 plus 5i. So we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator and that gives us 12 minus 10i on the top and 36 minus 25i squared on the bottom which um, that denominator then um, simplifies to 61 once, once we substitute i squared into, um, in for minus 1. And then just express each of those as a fraction separately so that we can pull out the real part being 12 over 61 and the imaginary part is, um, oh that should be a minus, I'll just fix that up. There we go, minus 10 over 61. Okay, third example. We're going to find the square root of 3 plus 4i. So we have some number that's been squared to make 3 plus 4i. So if we multiply out that bracket, this is what we get. Now we're going to equate the real and the imaginary parts here. So the real parts of that left hand bit have to be equal to the real parts of the right hand side. So we get x squared minus y squared equals 3. And then we have the imaginary parts, the coefficients of i, so we get 2xy on the left hand side and 4 on the right. And then using simultaneous equations, if we rearrange that imaginary part into y equals 2 over x and substitute it into that first equation, then we get this. So we have a quadratic to solve here, we're just going to rearrange it into a easier form. And so we end up with this factorization. So x squared is equal to 4 or x squared equals minus 1. Now at this point x squared minus 1 that's not a valid solution. x has to be a real number remember. So since it's the real part of um, our complex number and the same if it was y as well but both x and y have to be real numbers themselves it's when they get put with an i that makes them complex or imaginary so this x squared minus 1 equals minus 1 um, is not okay so we carry on with the x squared equals 4 and we get that x, x can be 2 or minus 2 when x is 2, y is 1 and when x is minus 2, y is minus 1 so the square roots of 3 plus 4i are 2 plus i and minus 2 minus i. Just putting those values back in for x and y in our complex number.